Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't even keep up. Look at that. I saw that. Look at this marble car. Look at that blood. This is what's going on right now. Joey Slam. So Slayers, this is what I'm talking about here. Whiskers Whiskers, his antenna right here, his barbels are brown. And those are brown, but their tips are white. You see that? They're pretty much like dead. They have like no feeling, which sucks. And he looks really beat up. Both fins, back fin, bite marks. I don't want to stress them out too much, but my first answer is always a water change. Um, I'm going to try tap water first to see if anything happens. See if he does better. If not, we know what we got to do. We got to hit up Wild World of Farley again to stop by to pick up some beautiful lake water. He helped me out one time already. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to have to do an ammonia test on that water to see how much ammonia is in here because he's exasperated. Look at him breathe. He's like breathing really hard in comparison to this guy. Look, you barely see his gills moving. And then this guy is just like stressed. It's all because of Kitty. Kitty is asserting, asserting dominance. Like Kitty's gills, he's not even breathing that hard. So this guy is super stressed. So we gotta make sure we save this guy at the same time. But I wanna be able to move him somewhere where he can get constant flowing water. Either like Zach catch them all or while we're the farley. But the thing is the temperatures are gonna change. It's gonna be about like 41 degrees tomorrow. And it's gonna be really, really cold. And this water is obviously room temperature. Sometimes it gets a little higher as well, right? I don't want to shock the fish in transport, then get shocked because of the weather, then it dies. So, all right, enough talking. I'm gonna go ahead and empty out this pond. It's just, it's scary, man. I don't want to lose this guy. I've never seen a marble car this big right here on YouTube, and this guy's very important to me. Jeez, those whiskers are toast. I guess it's happening to him too. Look at Yeti. Dude, he is beating up everybody. Like, you can tell who's trying to assert dominance based on, oh, what's happening here? Relax, buddy. You can see who's trying to assert dominance based on who has the healthiest body here? Look, no bite marks, nothing. The condition of the fish, you can really tell. See, everything's perfect. Look at this guy, he's even beaten up too. Dude, he's been savage. He's been killing everything. Anything that comes in here, here gets harassed by him for sure. That's probably why we haven't seen Kendall in a long time. It's not like my usual video. I usually like to have some more fun with stuff like that, but as fish keepers, you guys know this happens. This happens all the time when it comes to some, some fish. And we don't like to usually show it on YouTube, but I want to show you guys what we also deal with on a regular basis. We still got to deal with everything. Like, look at these guys. They're all covered up and scared because of the other pump. But, uh, but yeah. And does it have an odor in here? You smell that? A little bit. It smells a little bit. So there's definitely something with ammonia. Let's go ahead and do an ammonia test now. I always recommend you guys have either chemicals, like the drop bottles and everything to do these ammonia tests and check your parameters. I also recommend using the strips. You just dip the strip. You gotta keep it face up for about five seconds and see if it changes color. Lily, can you go ahead and hold this bottle to see what the parameters are? So what you wanna do is make sure you have zero, right? So zero is yellow and then everything else is bad. Let's see, oh my God. Oh my God, that's an ammonia spike. That's a 6.0 green. This can kill your entire pond. So, yeah, this is bad. That's why everyone's acting all skittish and stupid. Dude, this happened like overnight. That's so sad. Literally. We gotta change the water. Yeah, like if you guys, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll some clips right now from Wild World of Farley's channel. Oh my God. It begins. They're all just fighting. Guys, they're all trying to get dominance. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't even keep up. These catfish are crazy. Look at the marks, look at the marks. Oh, oh yeah, I see it. Ooh, they weren't there before. Look, 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 look. He's out here biting, rubbing, doing what he needs to do to fight dirty. To assert and let them know he's the king of this castle. You can see that Kitty was harassing the marble car, stressing the marble car, and I guess the marble car vomited overnight. Yeah. Because it stinks. And the water quality is even different. Like there's poop here. You never, and this is just bad. Let me go ahead and see the nitrates and the nitrites and all that type of stuff. Can you get one of these things for me? I actually trust these. These are very good. It's a dipstick. Literally dip it in the water. God, you can really smell it now, right? Yeah, now it's stronger on this side. <laughs> it smells bad. Let's see what happens. You gotta wait like 30 seconds to test what's going on. Come on. Come on, focus. So right now, we're having camera issues. There we go. 
So pH is fine, everything else is fine. No nitrates or nitrites. This is what you wanna read. If you see pink immediately, that's no bueno, but we don't see pink immediately. So our bacteria is still alive, everything's pretty good, still good, but the ammonia is absolutely terrible. Yeah. So what you can do to counteract that is you can always throw in amylock. Just dump as much as you can based on the size of your pond. Or first things first, without having to put chemicals, nothing like that, you wanna do a water change. Water. When in doubt, you do a water change and that is the fastest way to heal your fish. Then I usually like to go ahead and grab 100% lake water, even though it may carry some parasites and stuff like that. It's these fish live in rivers and lakes. The clarity may not be the best, but with good filtration, your pond will be clear. Like this was 100% lake water when we first started up this pond. And then with water changes and time, we got clear. So, oh buddy, hopefully we can go ahead and save this guy. I mean, you guys saw he was being completely harassed by Kitty and Teddy. This happens, those two guys right there, those half breeds, I'm telling you, those hybrids are the most aggressive fish you could possibly have in a pond when it, go, when it comes to catfish. Like, no fins, no issues, nothing. Nothing at all whatsoever. And you gotta look at the alpha, that's how you know who the alpha is. If he's perfect, that's the alpha, 100%. So guys, give us a few moments, we're gonna go ahead and change this water. And um, we'll check in on Whiskers when he's all done. Look at that. I'm gonna get nice and close to her. Look at those marks. Those are, I only have catfish in here. She's chewed up there, she's chewed up there, she's chewed up there, chewed up. See her breathing? So guys, I lower the pond really low. Like pretty much, that's the mark of where, how high it usually is. That's the regular water level to now. So I dare to say this is close to 60%. What is this? Is that blood? That's blood? For real? No way. Dude, please don't let that be blood. Is that, wasn't, wasn't whiskers right there? There's blood? Or is this a poop? This is like smeared blood. Like legit. And it looks. I don't see any more blood. Huh. Dude, she is not looking good. All right, so we're again, attempt to save this fish. I'm trying to make a decision right now if I'm gonna do 100% water, lake water change now, and not risk more tap water to do it again, because I just want to get it all healed up right now. All right, Slayer, so check it out. We have made the executive decision to add lake water into this, you know, 100% lake water change. Um, it's actually not 100%, it's, it's like 85%, because obviously my pump won't run if there's not water in there. I'm gonna keep the pump running at all times. So check it out. Now we have a tent. See, what happens is when you add this type of water, you lose visibility. Unfortunately, I lose clarity, but I'd rather have my fish, whiskers, alive instead. So I'll gladly trade, I'll gladly trade clarity to make sure that my fish is alive. Well, Slayers, as you guys can see now, you can't see a single thing. The water has changed. Go away, kitty's really out and about. Look at Whiskers, now Whiskers is moving, being way more active. I'm telling you guys, if you have a lake, I recommend it. You do run the risk of parasites, but you can always add chemicals for that in the future. No problem with that. Hey, hey buddy, oh, you want to eat? Uh, we'll feed you soon. It's just, it's nice, and, it's really cold. I always say nice and cold. I don't know why I say nice and cold. It's just, it's, it's cause you're nice. But, but yeah, look, swimming around, going around in circles. Beautiful part of having a circular pond is the flow is going around in circles. It's a strong flow. Look at Kitty going back and forth. Hey girl, wanna come up? Come up. Oh, you're just a terrorizer of this tank, aren't you? Aren't you? There's whiskers going around, swimming. Already looking better, isn't that crazy? That's amazing. As soon as you put this water in here, everything goes good. Brought you know, when you're a pain in my butt, we should just throw you in here. I'm ready to go in here. I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, guys, comment below if you want to go ahead and see Lily in a bikini inside the here. Let I me know. Bikini, yeah. Well, we'll go ahead and rock paper to the shoe for that. Okay. Well, looks like we're gonna have to actually transport whiskers because after feeding them, stuffing them up, this guy's a douchebag. He's been swimming on the surface for hours. I thought he was gonna be okay, but I have a good resolve. I think we're gonna take it to catch him on Fishing's house. He has a lot of room with that multi-level pond. 
So now, not only do I have the stress of taking them out, I have the stress of them vomiting after I put this net in. So I have to wait until the Marvel Carl comes over here. Marvel Carl. See, now he's on the bottom. So that's a good sign, but he comes up straight to the surface like this. So if I can sneak by and scoop him really quick, we're good to go. I think I'm gonna use this small net. It's a little bit easier. It's way smaller than the mega net. So all I have to do is just get his head in first. So come over here, let's see what happens. He's coming around. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Got him. That was so fast. Woo! Come on, come on. Bro, hit that, that lid on there. That was the fastest scoop ever you guys saw in real time. Woo! Woo, baby. That's exactly how I scooped up Lily too. Oh my that god. Quick. She slid into the DMs and it was over. You know how it goes. Oh my god. Alright, alright, so. Woo! I feel a lot better. Nothing's gonna harass that fish now. Let's let's look inside. Hello buddy. How goes it? You're doing good? Okay, we we gotta this this cool is really not big enough for him. So now we got a problem. We gotta move this over there, move that in there. Call catch him while fishing. I think he's actually gonna be making a video at the same time. So uh, we'll meet you at Catch Em All Fishing Place. Right, you're, you're, so guys, you're in my shot. Right. You're in my shot. We have. Oh my God! <laughs> There's Timmy. <laughs> Timmy in the wild. Timmy's looking good. He's been Catch Em All Fishing. I'm here with Wild World of Farley behind you yeah, too. Yeah. What's up? Wild How's it going? This fish has been with everybody. Wild World of Farley, me, and I'll Catch Em All Fishing. What's what's in, what's in here? What's in here? What? A sandwich. What's in here? It's a giant red tail. Bro. It's a giant red tail? Yeah. Can I open it? Yeah, you were just there. No, oh, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is the giant red tail that was in that pond. That thing is huge. That thing's 30 inches all day long. Yeah, he's a big boy. He's a big, thick one. Yeah, that's the one I caught not too long, but you guys can see it's getting cold. I want to put him in the larger body of water. That's from stress. Yeah. So we're going to put him over there. He's I know about out of my hand. He's good to go. Come on. Let's to deliver him back to my mama's pond with the big and the big and the big boys. Is it the new merch? Big oh, boy. new merch, baby. Woo! Catch him all, boy! You're gonna see every YouTuber wearing this stuff in a minute, in a minute, in a second. I almost fell in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do so it. check it out. It's gonna be in here. This huge thing. We're gonna put him right here. So if you guys see the transfer and everything, I'm gonna grab a little bit for my channel, but it's gonna be, you're gonna see the whole thing on Catch Him All Fishing channel, my boy. Look at that. I saw that. Look at this marble car. Look at that. Look at that blood. This is what's going on right now. He's been getting harassed. He has flesh. He's exposed. And those catfish are smelling that and harassing him. Pretty much trying to kill him. So, thanks to Catch Mall Fishing, I can actually be able to put it in one of these ponds right here. And it's good to go. Are you ready to go? Send it. Oh, send it. Alright, cool. Easy. Easy, girl. Oh, ready? She's about to move. There you go. Baby. Big girl. Those whiskers are all torn up. That's why I love these fish. Because they have these long whiskers and everything. But here we go. All right. There you go. Room. Plenty easy. of room. It's yeah. like the perfect isolation farm. Absolutely. If anything ever happens, I'm going to start putting like fish over here because it's constant flowing water and everything like that. I appreciate you. Bro. Thank you. <laughs> the ice is too much, guys. Go ahead. Give him a huge thank you. No, because he's probably going to save more marble car. There she is right here. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. Get better soon, okay? Get better soon. All right, guys. Now, I know this video is a little unorthodox of the usual videos, but I did want to let you guys know what sometimes we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that we can bring you guys the happy and healthiest fish ever. Slayers, don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you guys. We're on the road to 500K. We got to get there sooner rather than later. I want to get there before the new year, so guys, Help me out, tell your friends, your families, your wives, your girlfriends, your mans, your other mans, whatever you want to go ahead and do. Just let me know, tell them to subscribe, join the channel, become a slayer. And I'll see you in the next adventure. Booyah.